Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. It's Georgie. And after five days away, I'm back. First reading that I've done in all that time. I did take my cards with me and I didn't pick them up once. So um, hmm. I was wondering, coming home, what on earth am I going to read on? Everybody is covering Harry and Meghan and um, the eviction and all kinds of stuff. Um, Harry's um, stupid interview or whatever you want to call it with um, Dr. Gabor Matty. I don't know how you say it. But anyway, they, everybody's covering all these things. So I thought I want to cover Frogmore Cottage. Um, I want to find out why this cottage... Um, they can't seem to keep any residents and um, it's had loads and loads of people living in over the decades and over the over the centuries. And I just want to find out a little bit of energy from this house. Um, I very much believe houses are like sponges and they absorb the energy of the occupants. And I want to know a little bit from the house, a little bit from the house's point of view. I'm sure houses do have points of view. And um, I want to find out why this house doesn't seem to keep owners, tenants. What is it? What is it about Frogmore Cottage? So I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot. And just the first reading back, just going to try and get a little bit of energy from this house and find out what's going on with it. So I'm going to pull a Celtic cross get rid of that let's pull a celtic cross all about frogmore cottage see see if i can get the energy of this house and frogmore cottage isn't to be uh mistaken with a uh, frogmore house frogmore house is the very very grand house i mean there's certainly nothing wrong with frogmore cottage but um it's not the great big grand house um this one is uh cottages that were all sort of knocked into one house it's beautiful but um, it, it's not a real imposing residence. So let's just try and find out a little bit more about it. Okay, Frogmore Cottage. I'm just going to pull the whole Celtic cross and then we'll unravel it as we go along. Okay, so this whole Celtic cross, it comes through on the house. So it's all about the house's energy. So right at the centre of the situation, we've got the emperor. So as I understand it, the, the little bit that I do know about it is that it goes back to George III's reign. And George III, he was the mad, mad king. And... Um, you know, between his bouts of madness and illness, he was incredibly difficult to live with. So I believe that Queen Charlotte, the emperor's wife, the queen, so King George III's wife, um, moved into Frogmore Cottage with her girls, with her children, um, as a way of escaping this emperor. So I think that when he was good, he was very, very good. And when he was bad, he was horrid. <laughs> and, um, you know, when he had his rages, they wanted to escape him. So, you know, I can understand that this, this figure of the emperor is very much the central energy. And that's how, you know, the house became to be occupied in the first place, you know, to, to escape this, this very imposing figure when he, um, he was not in such a good mood. So, and then we've got crossing it, we have here the Queen of Pentacles, which I would say is um, Queen Charlotte. Um, you know, I, 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 my history is not good. And I think that's good because I'm not relying on knowledge that I have of history. Um, I'm telling you what I'm feeling from the cards rather than reciting something that I know from a book. But I would imagine that Queen Charlotte um, the Queen of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles is a very down-to-earth woman. Um, she can she can make a little bit go a long way. She's very um uh, she's the woman to go to if you need something sorted out. 
um, if you need um, wise advice, um, a, a good head on her shoulders, the Queen of Pentacles. And that makes sense. So you've got the king and queen here. You've got the king who was wanting, you know, that the, the, the queen and her daughters wanted to escape from at times. And then you've got the queen here, which is a very wise thing to do. Get out of the palace. Get out of that claustrophobic atmosphere. Get into the house. And this is where the house comes into it. So the base of the situation here, we've got the king of pentacles. So he's in reverse. So yeah, I mean, I, I do see this as being the king's madness, you know, the king's instability. Um, pentacles are very down to earth, very stable. You know where you stand with a king of pentacles up this way. He's very logical. He'll give you good advice. When he's in the reverse, you know, he is um, oh, not to be trusted. Um, you can't make sense of what he's talking about and, you know, what, what he's saying. Nothing, you know, everything's up in the air with him. So this is the king of pentacles, you know, in reverse. This is was the root of it all, why this house was so important because of this madness of this king, of this emperor under here. And at the top of it, it was very good judgment. It, it was a very wise decision to turn to this house. It was a very wise thing to, you know, have this house as a bolt hole, if you like. And, and it was good judgment from the queen. And it was a safe place to take her daughters. And, and this house was always sort of somewhere that different people um, could be looked after. I see this sort of judgment card as, you know, um, if you need somewhere to stay if you you need to stand up and be like sort of counted and think i i need somewhere to go then this house was like your sort of um savior in a way um it, it housed a lot of people over the centuries over the decades and um i think that in the top of it the house was always there for people like a sort of um like a like a, a um a calm place for people but I think that although it was there and it was a, a really good place to house different people, you know, of, of, of all different um, situations, they came to Frogmore, but the house itself was never really first choice. This is what I'm, I'm picking this up from these cards. The Two of Swords, it was always, mm, okay, I'll take the house, but I don't really want it. It's... It's getting me out of a spot. And, and that's the kind of energy that I'm getting. And this poor house was always, it was always available to people. It was always there, but it was never people's first choice, you know. And and I think people would go there, um, but it would be, oh, okay, yeah, all right, I will go there, but oh, all right, that's fine, sort of thing. And and this house didn't have love in it. That's that's the way I'm seeing this. The house wasn't loved and, you know, and, and then going on to sort of near future. Well, that's everything that's happened at the moment, isn't it? You know, with the, the eviction and, you know, being thrown out of the house, literally. Um, th this house needs a family in it that can settle and that can call it home and that can grow old there. It's never had this. To me, it seems like a place that, People have just come and gone and, oh, well, it'll do and it'll get us out of a situation. But no one has really loved this house. And so, as I said to you at the beginning, houses are like sponges. And, and if they're loved and cherished, then you get that warmth coming through. But there isn't that warmth with this house because it was never anybody's first choice. That's that's the, the feeling that I get from this. And we've got the seven of pentacles here. Yeah, I mean, this this is, again, it's, do we bother with it? Do we bother putting in the work? Um, I know that one of the Romanov's uh, relatives, I, I don't know which one, I'm really sorry, but after the Russian Revolution, one of the Romanov's, um, one of the princesses, not, not you know, the, the four princesses of um, Tsar, 
Nicholas, not 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 there, but a more of a distant relative. She came to Frogmore with her children and the house literally fell apart around them because she had no money. She was like a refugee, you know, from Russia. And um, the king didn't pay any anything to have the house upkept, if you like. So the house literally fell apart. And this is what I see with the seven of pentacles. It's like, oh, you know, um, I can't. I can't give it any love. I, I can't invest in this house. You know, Seven of Pentacles is you reap what you sow. And this family lived in it, but just let it go to rack and ruins, not through their own fault, but through lack of finances. So the house was left to literally rot. Oh, well, that's so sad, you know, this this poor house. Um, and then we have, yeah, look, the um, Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, it just wasn't wasn't treated well. It, 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 ace of swords is, is very much a truth card when it's up the right way it's truth it's justice it's looking after something you know you you treat something uh very carefully you you legally look after it but it was just left to basically go to wreck and ruin uh, and wasn't treated fairly um and then we have the uh, universe here the knight of cups in reverse yeah i mean the knight of cups uh, the right way up, that's very much um, an emotional card. You know, if if you lived in a home that you loved, you, you'd invest your time, your money in it. You'd do the garden, wouldn't you? Make sure it's painted and you do all those little things for a home that, that make it special. But, you know, when the Knight of Cups is up the other way, it's like mm, you have no emotion for the home, no no care, no love for it, nothing to put into it. Um, it's just somewhere to rest your head, basically. And, you know, then we have here at the top, this is what the universe was saying, you know, nobody poured love into this house. They just, it was just basically a place to put your head and it wasn't, it wasn't loved. And again, temperance in reverse. Temperance the right way up is, you know, very nurturing, caring. You would, you would make sure everything is looked after. You would you know, it will be a happy balance of energies, but no, um, it, it is literally not, not giving that loving, loving care to a property. And I know this is strange doing a Celtic cross on a house, but from this, I feel so sorry for this house because it's never been anyone's first choice. We're in a situation now where Andrew's been offered it and he's in the two of swords about this. Well, um, you know, I don't, I don't really want this. Yeah, okay, thank you. And you know, you and I, and most people go, oh my god, thank you, that's wonderful. But to Andrew, it's, it's like, well, it's just like a little hovel, really. You know, for this man who thinks that he's all that and a bag of chips, you know. So it's, it, it's very much a, a little sad little house, and this poor home. And as I say, with everything that happened with um, Harry and Meghan, and um, you know, all this disaster here, they didn't love it. They went in there and, I don't know, probably abused it in some way. You know, they didn't even live there, did they? They probably had a few parties there, you know, threw up on a couch or something, and that was it, really. And and that's the impression that I'm getting from this. This house has not been loved. And so, consequently, the energy around it is very unsettled. I can just feel that unsettled energy. This house needs to have a home. It needs to have a family in it. And Andrew is not going to be that family. If he does ever go there, he's not going to want to be there. So it's not going to help the energy improve. So I'm going to go right to the center of the situation with this house and just see, see what comes out about right in the center. See what the cards can tell me at the very center. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. I mean, it needs, this is what it needs. Somebody who is steady and going to be there for the long term. It needs somebody, not just one person, but a family. And a Knight of Pentacles is the slow and steady energy. It's like bringing up a family. It's planting the garden. It's... It's loving it, it's painting it, it's nurturing it. This is what it needs. It needs a knight of pentacles in his family that will be there long term, um, decades. It needs a family to grow old and mature in it. 
and and love it and then you know the atmosphere in this house will change but at the moment this poor old house has just been used as basically a very upmarket dos place really that's the way i see it it's just been used as somewhere for people just to dos in for a while and move on i don't think anybody lived there for very long and when they did it was always oh well yeah oh thank you very much but it's not my first choice so poor old Frogmore. Um, and, you know, this latest debacle with um, the gruesome twosome, you know, that that hasn't helped at all. Hasn't helped at all. I think Eugenie and her husband moved in there for a little while. But again, it, it was it was just in, out, move on. Let's get this house, you know, people in it who will love it and nurture it. And then the whole energy will change. And, you know, the whole feeling of the house will improve. I don't believe in ghosts as such, but I do think that houses do absorb the energy of the people that have lived in it. And if you don't love your house and you're there just for somewhere to rest your head and just for, you know, because it's been offered to you, um, the house isn't going to be full of joy. And this is not a happy home. So I hope you enjoyed that. I had no idea what was going to come up. If you know more about Frogmore and the people that have lived there, then I'd love to hear more about it. But but nobody's taken any care over this property. It was renovated and it was, you know, money has been spent on it, but it still didn't alter the the actual feel of the house. It was like money was chucked at it. It was sorted out. But no love came with that and more important than money and renovation is love for a home and this has not had it really sad it makes me quite emotional actually i want to go and live in it and look after it <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed that one and um, i'll be back soon with another one you take care and it's really good to be home thank you bye bye <laughs>